The six graders of Holgate Middle School, located in the Holgate School District in Henry County, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of our edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Holgate Middle School in Holgate. Our town was founded in 1873 and is located in Henry County. It's the home of the late comedian Joey Brown. Holgate is a pretty safe place. For the most part, there are no major crimes or disasters. Cassie Giesecke reports on an organization that keeps it that way. I'm Cassie Giesecke. Holgate Fire Department is always ready to protect the public. Nick Giesge is a volunteer for the Holgate Fire Department. The job of the Fire Department is to protect the property and the lives of the people of our community. Holgate Fire Department serves the village of Holgate and the surrounding township of Pleasant Township. The department is well prepared to fight fires. We have two pumpers and one tanker. The pumpers are the trucks that actually pump the water at a fire scene and the tanker hauls the water to it for us. Uh, the equipment on each of the trucks, the pumpers usually carry all of the hose that you'll use with the nozzles on them and we have bars uh, for opening doors that we can't get open. We have saws for cutting holes in a roof if we have to ventilate an area. The worst fire we ever had was uh, the bowling alley that was downtown. That uh, took the bowling alley building and actually leapfrogged a building and went to one beside of it and uh, burned that building also. Mr. Giesge likes being part of a fire department. Uh, most interesting is uh, the different situations you come get into. Uh, each fire scene is a little bit different. There's always a little danger there, so your adrenaline gets pumped up when you're going to a fire. Members of the Holgate Fire Department are always well prepared. Uh, you're always aware of safety. You never want to go into any situation that you can't get out of so you don't get hurt. This is Cassie Giesby reporting for News 6. Many folks express their creativity in different ways. Some paint pictures while others write novels. Reporter Jessica Hall participates in a creative effort that's much more physical. Hello, I am Jessica Hall. In Hogate, all dancers are in step. We're in step because of the Right Step Dance Studio, owned and operated by Jennifer Bishop. I started the Right Step Dance Studio because I love to dance. I love children. I teach ballet, tap, and jazz. Other than dancing, I also have aerobic classes for adults. Jennifer has an impressive dance background. I have been dancing for 23 years. I started when I was three years old, and I have been in various performances, and I have started teaching at the age of 16. The Right Step has something for everyone. Boys and girls are both very good at their dance. Most of my students are kids from the Hogate and Napoleon area. The most enjoyable part of teaching someone to dance is watching them get excited when they have learned how to do a step that they've had problems with. This is Jessica Hall reporting for News 6. Today's 
Kids View question is, what is your favorite high school sport and why? Basketball because it's fun to watch. Track because it's fun to watch and I'm going to be in it. I don't really have a favorite high school sport because I don't really like them. My favorite high school sport is basketball because it is fun to watch. Football because I enjoy going to the games with my friends. Throughout the United States, people remember our history through symbols. Many of us have a motto statue of liberty or a calendar of the president. Reporter Jeffrey Dress knows one man who expresses a sense of history in a really big way. I'm Jeffrey Dress. Walking through this recreation is like passing through a part of our history. Harold Lanzer is creating this wonderful version of Independence Hall. I'm in the process of building a replica, three-eighths replica of the Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Well, I always did like uh, history. Many of the details will be true to the original. I, I got the blueprints when Reagan was president uh, from the Secretary of Interior. And uh, you got half-scale prints. And I, uh, from it, I, I drew out my own plans, three-eighths replica, and I made everything just as close as possible, only in the three-eighths size. Mr. Lanzer will have something really cool on the inside. My plans to, with this Liberty Bell is to, is to set it back in there in, on the floor in the bell tower, where there used to be in 76, then they, in Philadelphia, they put it out in a separate building, because it's you can see it would be pretty crowded for a lot of people to come in there. They have a lot of, have a lot of attendance to this building, you know, so I thought I'd just for fun I'd put it back in the bell tower the way it used to be. A person can see the Independence Hall construction from the highway. The fact is I started in 1993, and I'm in the process of, I'm getting along pretty good on it. I'm up 40 feet now, and I have to go another 20 feet higher yet, but it was kind of amazing how this turn out. This is Jeffrey Just for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. See ya! The sixth graders of Holgate Middle School, located in the Holgate School District in Henry County, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of our edition of News 6.